In April, the Rarix left Srinagar for the Pir Panzel foothills, setting up a base near Gulmarg and waiting for their request to be approved. Snow still lay on the ground, and hailstorms and downpours described by George as terrific violent, pounded the camp until the arrival of summer. Nicholas completed more landscapes, and the family assembled its caravan, hiring porters and more than 80 ponies to haul their gear to the Ladakh side of the Zoji Pass. Foodstuffs included Washington's instant coffee and packets of powdered milk, while George stocked the first aid kit with bandages, jars of aspirin, disinfectants, a set of syringes, a stethoscope, and a sphygmomanometer for reading blood pressure. The family purchased fur-lined sleeping bags, and Nicholas and Helena had a large waterproof tent made specially by Abercrombie and Fitch. Among the other supplies were George's dictionaries and grammars, Nicholas's paints, brushes, sketch pads, and canvases, and a portable Victrola, complete with an assortment of records. The family converted much of their cash into various currencies, especially Mexican dollars, which, thanks to their high silver content, were enthusiastically accepted as coinage throughout Asia. Permission to travel came early enough to allow Rarick to depart when he needed to, during the late summer, after the monsoon rains began to subside, but before snow started closing the high passes to Ladakh. In August 1925, the time came to set forth. With an open road before them and a sense of destiny in their hearts, the Rarix took the first steps on a journey that would last almost three years and cover a distance nearly equal to two-thirds the circumference of the Earth. They expected nothing less than epic-changing results.